basketball, you have to have a short-term memory. <laughs> Kailangan mag-move on agad. Past is past, kumaga. Yeah. Past is past. <laughs> and we are underway in set number three. Anton Ross together with Mika Reyes on the broadcast panel for this matchup between San Beda and San Sebastian. And at court side, we also have Lexi Gonzalez. So, si Adia pa rin yung uh, binababad ni Coach Roger Goreyev. Maganda actually ang pagpapaikot ng bola ni Adia. May variation. And yung pagbibigay niya ng mga quick sets, malaka rin talaga yung nakatulong, lalo na sa set. Santos. In terms of physicality, in terms of power, Kat Santos is really one of our best players in the NCAA. But yun nga, the problem is sometimes the inconsistency and she can't do it alone also. Yes, totoo yan. Santos right now with 12 points in the match to lead San Sebastian. Abraham with 7 points now. Nag step up din tong si ano ah, Kagalawan, Sophie Kagalawan. And not just on offense, we see her dig up that ball also, Hapakon. Adia, Santos! What a cross court attack for Kat Santos. We're seeing it here, Santos with the wind-up. Challenging the blockers. Kahit na dalawa na yung nasa harap niya, ikaw cross-court ko to, sabi ni Kat Santos. Another service error for San Sebastian. That has been a huge problem for them here in this match. Now serving for the Lakers Tigers, and the bottom. Adia. Amakatan with an entry and a delivery. Good set. Good spike. Back set. Abraham. With another point. I think isa rin sa mga mahirap lakin na opposite spiker is yung mga lefty. Iba yung angle kasi nila and kaya nilang na market ng super cross court. CJ Deposoy is able to spike that ball with enough power and control for it to drop right in front of the libero. Marasigan. Another service error. Alam ko, when you used to practice with the Lady Spikers of Coach Ramil De Jesus, you really spend a lot of time on the service line. Yes. At isa na ako doon sa mga nag-overtime. Because <laughs> honestly, hindi rin talaga ako yung... Ever since ano, when I was in high school, hindi oh. ako yung um, ma marami experience na player. Kaya siguro nung college, doon pa lang ako nakagain ng confidence ko. Doon pa lang ako natututo rin talaga sa mga iba't ibang volleyball na situations and... Siguro naman, ano, natuwa sa akin si Coach Romil. And for so many years, kayo talaga yung know muna when it comes to service aces in the league. Siguro mga at least an hour yung training namin for service. Puro ganun na, no? paulit-ulit, repetition. Yes, yes. Eh, yung mga one-man, namimiss mo ba yun? Ah... Uh, <laughs> 
Bé. Hindi ko siya namimiss. Naalala ko, no? Nanood ako ng practice nyo one time, tapos may na-one man kayo ni Coach Ramil. Talaga? Kailan yan? Long time ago, when you were still playing. Saka bakit may audience? Ba't kayo nandun? Hindi, I was there to interview. I think I was doing a story, tapos nag-one man. Talaga? Doon ko lang nakita ang hindi vocal si Abby tsaka si Michelle. Kasi sobrang hinihingal na sila eh. In fairness kay Coach no na, wala siyang okay lang sa kanya na makita ng ibang tao. I think I was the only one there. Ah, okay. I think I was the only one there. Oo, kasi closed door kayo eh. Yes. Very strict si Coach Ramil dyan. And I would remember specifically, he would tell me no cameras. Totoo. Tapos sabi ko, Coach, Coach, ako lang po. Chuck, it's just my phone recording you guys. Kagalawan. Good target for Kagalawan. And San Beda still on top, 8 to 6. Lexi will have another report for us sa aming pagbabalik. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na Pim... CAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball, San Beda vs. San Sebastian with 11 rookies and a new coach himself. Coach Edgar Baroga did not deny that there is setback having a lot of new players but despite this, he said that he believes in rookie Angel Habakon because he said that he saw her determination and willpower during the preseason and that her energy positively affects the Lady Red Spikers. Pero hindi rin naman nagpapahuli dito si Amakatan. Visible naman na malakas ang advantage ng San Beda because of their middle blockers. Pero ang sagot dito ni Amaka, matatangkad man ang kalaban pero kayang-kaya namin makipagsabayan. We want to see more of this fire as the game closes to an end, Anton and Mika. Yeah, I think um, that's what it boils down to, lalo na. We have a trend eh, in this match. Dikit siya sa simula, nagpupull away yung San Beda. And then, nagbago lang nung second set, nakahabol yung San Sebastian. Yes, Anton. Siguro din nakadagdag yung kanilang unforced errors na nakakaputol din talaga ng momentum. That time though, masyadong mataas. Part of the adjustment period ni Kat Molina. Going from open spiker to setter. And ikaw, Mika, you played with a lot of setters who were tall. Yes. So, napakalaking bagay. Malaking bagay talaga siya, lalo na kapag nasa harapan na sila. Kasi basta, hindi basta-basta na binibitawan din sila ng blocker. Dahil pwede silang mag-drop ball, pwede din silang pumalo. And it's an, another advantage for your team. Santos with a lot of space in between her and the net. But she finds a way to get it through. Out of system na yung play, pero nagawan pa ng paraan ni Santos. And it's a uh, magandang uh, boost para sa San Sebastian. Ooh! Walang pumalo. They were able to tip it over to the San Sebastian side. Abraham. Free ball. Sana. Pero walang pumika. Easy ball na lang siya. Hindi pa nagkaintindihan. Saka si ZJ. Adia. Oh, a long back set. 
Santos had to lean back, a back on. Santos. Santos again. Ngayon ko lang actually na kita na nag-down the line si Kat Santos. Yun naman yung bola ni Kat. May spin. Yes. Mahirap din i-pick up. Habakon. Good save. Santos will respond. Picked up by Angel. Habakon down the line. But picked up again. That's good defense by Juna Gonales. Navarro. Yun yung mga gusto ko rin set actually. Yung biglang ibibigay ng setter sa gitna ang bola. Tapos bibilisan mo lang ng drop ball. That's the Mika Reyes play. <laughs> Mahirap kunin yun. <laughs> Pero for me, ano eh, yung signature move mo talaga sa volleyball. Para sa akin lang naman ha, yung single block. <laughs> With, with ano to? <laughs> Alam ko na yung sasabihin mo. <laughs> Just watch the highlights on YouTube, guys. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Eleven all. So, at least in this set, dumikit na yung San Sebastian. Ay, importante na lang, wag nila hayaang mag-pull away ulit yung San Beda. Yun din talaga yung pinaka-challenge na hindi nila mismong putulin. Hindi sila mag-commit ng error. Kasi nakaka-execute um, sila ng play, nakaka-defense sila. Pero kapag dating sa service line, doon sila nagkaka-error. Narinig ko yung isang teammate niya sabi, sige, sige, sige. Yung tiwala na pinibigay sa'yo ng teammate mo, kung ako yun, papaluin ko talaga yun. <laughs> Sino yung pinaka-vocal na teammate mo na when you hear that person's voice, yung confidence level mo biglang umaga? Uh, when I was in college? Yeah, or... yeah, when you were with the Lady Spiders. Or, or even in the pros. Siguro nung college, um, si Don. Uh, siya talaga yung... Yung tiyanong mukha ko kanina, siya rin yung una kong naisip. Pero lahat kasi naman ng mga libero, ganun. Yeah. Na lagi nag-remind sa'yo na, ate, dito lang ako sa likod mo. Sige, uh, palo ka lang. Ikaw, cover kita. Uh, And nakakataas rin talaga ng confidence yun, knowing na may nakakover sa'yo na teammate mo. Santos. Back set, Abraham. Hey, Abraham! Abraham, kanina pa siya uh, nagbibigay ng putos para sa San Beda at nahihirapan ang San Sebastian na pigilan. Wow, San Sebastian with a one-point advantage. Amakatan, make that a two-point lead. Parang favorite ko ngayon yung medal spike na yun. Aha. Uh -huh. Kanina pa nagbibigay si Adia sa gitna at ang taas ng efficiency makapatay nito. So, if they can only get that first ball consistently para makaopensa si Adia, let's see kung magtutuloy yan. Running attack, how about that? Shane De La Cruz, rookie middle blocker. Now, sir, for some time, First time lumamang ng San Sebastian after the 10-point mark in any set. Oh! They could not run the play properly. Shane De La Cruz. Another free ball for San Beda. At na-convert nila agad ito into a point. You see, kanina pa yung mga middle spiders ng both teams nakakapatay. Siguro lang kapag execute sila ng magandang play, ng magandang receive for their middle spikers. 
Bad luck. May sinasabi sa akin si Anton dito. <laughs> Sabi Kasi, niya, ganun daw ako mag-lock. <laughs> yeah. Yung inaabangan mo yung mga back row eh. <laughs> Habakon. So, so, At that time, Habakon with a service error. On the third for the ladies, guys. 15 oh, all. Oh. Amakatan. Oh, and again, that has been the problem for San Sebastian. And because of that, Coach Roger is showing us a delirious look, and San Beda has taken the lead. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59 kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa at left. Paano mo may explain itong uh, mukha ni Coach Roger ngayon, yung expression niya? <laughs> Para ang dami niya ng facial expressions throughout the game. <laughs> Mamaya, mamimili ako. Nadapkita mo si Coach Roger, sa ko, Coach, ito yung itsura mo kanina. <laughs> For you ba, when you were uh, playing against Coach Roger, um, as a player, is there an intimidation factor? Although, syempre, you're playing for a great coach. But Coach Roger is also great in his own right. Meron bang factors sa mga players yon, or you're just focused on the game? Actually, hindi ko masyadong naririnig na nag instruct or sumisigaw si Coach Roger kapag kalaban namin sila. Pero nung nag-pro na ako, pati yung coach, nakikipag trash talk. Wow! Yes! <laughs> Sabi ko, kasali ba sila dito? <laughs> Natatawa na nga lang ako minsan. <laughs> Gusto ko yung tanong kung sino yung mga yan. Kaya lang, baka hindi ko na ma-interview eh. <laughs> Biglang ayaw naman pa-interview. <laughs> Marasigan. Again, wala ulit na cover. Nagtitingin na na lang sila sa loob ng court. And makikita natin na unti-unti gumababa yung energy nila. Siguro dahil nga nagkakatingin na lang, walang kumukuha ng bola. So, Mika, after a long period of time on the court, sinab na muna ulit ni Coach Roger si Adia. And Von Di Makulangan, the starting center, is back on the floor. More of kay Kat Santos talaga si Von pumupunta eh, no? Actually, dun siguro siya sa porosyento niyang player. But now, we have three spikers for San Sebastian. Crucial na naman to. Approaching the 25-point mark and we are tied. Abraham. Santos, free ball. Abraham! Combination play for San Beda. Let's check the replay. Ano rin, ano? Itong si Abraham, energy player. Yes. Nakakahawa yung mga ganyan player. Kapag nakita mo yung teammate mo na energetic, na aggressive, Pati ikaw, gusto mo rin na ganun yung energy mo. Of course, top of mind is Abby Maranyo. Truly, the one and only. 
Chang Abi Marano. Si, si Chang, ano rin eh, siyempre pag punong-puno yung venue, parang mas lalo siyang bumibis mo din. Eh. <laughs> Bis mo, don't care. Yes. <laughs> Naalala ko tuloy hashtag niya. BMDC. BMDC. Ako! Ito yung mga nostalgia moments na naalala ko eh. When I, when I get to interact with you guys, <laughs> bumabalik yung mga memories. <laughs> ganoon. Kung tatama, di tumama. Hindi yung nakatingala na ganoon yung kamay nyo. Para kayo ang si Superwoman lilipad dito. Hindi <laughs> dito sa depensa, magtulong-tulong kayo. Ay nagtuturoan kayo. Palitan nyo na yung pangalan nyo. Arturo 1, Arturo 2. Kasi turo kayo ng turo eh. Si bagay ninyo, wala kayong pakialam kung kukunin yung katabi nyo ko. Hindi ko sa kunin nyo. Yung paano nila kung Ay magpalit ng mga pangalan nyo eh. Turo kayo si Arturo. Turo na Coach Roger, nabigyan niya na ng nicknames ng kanyang mga players. Pero totoo naman, magmula pa nga naman, nung unang set pa lang. Kanina pa nagtuturoan, kanina pa nagtitinginan. Coach Roger earned himself another real appearance for sure. <laughs> Kasi kinocompile niya na eh, yung mga quotable quotes ni Coach Roger. I know, Coach ko siya. Uy! Good luck for Marasigan. Ang San Pedro naman ngayon ang hindi ready for that block. Molina tossing it up. Good timing. Payungan doon si Angel Habakon. Oh! Habakon could not pass the ball properly. So, yung si Molina at si Abraham tumuro sa score. 19 all. So, it's time to focus. Oh, another poor reception. Nakalamang na ngayon ang San Sebastian. And another time. nagre-receive ka eh. Pag-receive mo, diretso ka lang dito sa tres. Ha? Sa tres ka lang. O, oh, magbibi ka na lang, ano, ah, uh, quicker. Tapos sa dulo ka, ano, ha? Oh. Eh, huwag kang magmadali. I-receive mo muna. Ayusin mo dahil hindi ka na alam. Hindi ka na alam, ha? Coach Edgar Baroga nire-remind ulit ang kanyang girls ng play na pwede nilang gawin for this sequence. So, iba naman ngayon kasi kanina, yung last huddle natin in the second set, he was talking about an offensive play. Ngayon naman, defense. Ayun. Finally, a good receive. And it leads to a good play and a spike. Crucial situation here. Erin Navarro, another rookie middle blocker. Di makulangan. Ang makatan. De La Cruz was there. Molina popping it up. Taya, the team captain to Abraham. De Posoy. Marasigan. Marasigan targeting the cross court. And you see, um, kanina sa last sequence, Hindi masyadong nag-abot si Marasigan at si Nan. While Adia, na kailang setter kanina, malaki yung efficiency ng pagpatay ng bola ni Tan. Habakol, drop ball! Kitang-kita mo na, naida-drop niya rin talaga. Alam niya na wala, gumalaw sa side ng San Sebastian. Ang ganda tingnan sa replay. Soft drop, sure point. Amakatan, that's not the way you want to hit the ball! Good save though, by San Sebastian. Habakon, 
breaks down the wall. Challenging the blockers. Ang taas din talaga ng kumpiyansa ni Habakon. Sabi niya, papaluin ko to. Kukuha ko ng puntos dito. Ayan si Jay, pa pala mga nasana tayo. Ba't ganun din ang dinampot yung bola? Anong nasa isip mo? Wala ka naman papaluin eh. Nasa depensa tayo eh. Ay, pero yung mga ano ko lang doon, no? Ha? Gumalaw-galaw kayo sa likod. Yung quick mo laging mababa. Last game, puro mababa. Ngayon, mababa pa rin. Nakakapalo yung middle natin. Tara, tara, tara! Nahihirapan din talaga siguro si Di Makulangan na magbigay ngayon ng set sa middle. So, it looks like because of what you just mentioned, yes. yung setter na magaling magbigay sa middle, si Adia is back in the game. Si Marga Adia. Kasi yung connection siguro nila ng middle spikers, yung magiging effective talaga para sa laro na to. Adia. Ooh! I told you! <laughs> That's why you're here, Vicar Reyes. <laughs> Kanina pa rin kasi hindi mabantayan ng San Beda. Yung mga spikes ni Tan. Tignan natin kung magpapatuloy yan. Kasi tabla na naman tayo. 22 all. Running attack for De La Cruz. Adia. Wow, KJ, or rather CJ, Desposoy. Desposoy gets the point in. Let's try that again. Adia to CJ Desposoy who breaks down the wall. Gives San Sebastian the lead. But pwede ka mag-drop ulit ito kasi pagka hindi tumulong, pag tumulong ito, ha? pag tumulong bakante yan. Ha? Hindi di yan. Coverage lang tayo sa atake. Ha? Go, 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 go. Kailangan na kailangan ng San Beda ngayon ng isang puntos, ng one break point para makuha nila ulit yung momentum. And during the first part of that, Huddle ni Coach Edgar, parang sinasabi niya, Molina and Habakon do the play that they usually do. Yes. So let's see, but they need a good first ball. They get it. At ayan na nga, Angel Habakon. Oh, San Sebastian keeps the ball up. De La Cruz. And San Sebastian keeps the ball up again. Good defense. By the Lady Stags. Set point for San Sebastian. Tina Marasigan saving the day. And also, Gonzalez saving the day. Pwede pa to. Oh! Ang miscommunication. Nagkatinginan sila doon. Tayag and Abraham. Both were iffy on who was going to deliver the ball back to the San Sebastian side. Ayun eh. Nailang si Abraham kasi biglang lumapit si Max Tayag. So, with that error, San Sebastian stays alive. And the chances of Mika Reyes going to a fifth set stays alive as well. We'll be back for set number four.